Greenland is the largest island on Earth and it's almost completely covered by uh, one of the three great ice sheets. Greenland matters because it's one of the largest hunks of ice left on our planet and we know it's changing. And when it changes, it delivers water to the global ocean and it changes sea level. We know that sea level's going up. And what we as scientists want to understand is what's making Greenland change and how fast is it going to change in the future? So the project, the project is developing this, this suite of instruments that we can fly on a C-130 that has routine missions in and around Greenland. So I think our goal now is actually to test, be able to see how we can move noise signals through the spectrum. Isn't that what? platform like IcePod can you move from aircraft to aircraft, which is the idea is that if you have an aircraft, you can then go survey. We need to have good data collected on how much Greenland is melting at the moment, and then we need to have good understanding of the processes so that we can make predictions of what's going to happen in the future. The focus of these two trips to Greenland that we've had with VicePod have been to make sure that the pod can do the measurements that we need it to do. The ice sheet sort of changes clothes in the winter, it's white. And then in the spring it starts to melt and all these sort of strands on its surface start to fill with this beautiful blue water and these spectacular blue lakes, almost like it's wearing a necklace of blue. Ice sheets are kind of like silly putty. Sometimes they just flow gently, but if you yank silly putty, it cracks. And cracks formed last summer in the skiway where the New York Guard go to practice their takeoffs and landings so they can support science in Greenland and Antarctica. And these are cracks that are buried in the snow. We're hoping to see either thermally or with a radar. and predict fine scale changes is very important. But then in the bigger picture, all this ice melting and going into the sea is, this, is a contributor to sea level rise, which affects people all around the world. Greenland's changing two ways. One way it's changing by melting the surface, and the other is by sliding into the ocean. And we hope to capture how that melt is happening because all parts of the globe will feel eventually the changing ice sheets.